time, never on always please party. I do it how you say you want it, want it, want it. just wanna take my body, body, body. I just check, 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 Hi guys, what's up? It is Erica. In case you forgot, because I have not done an, like a formal intro like this in a while. Today we're going to be making these really pretty designs. I'm not going to show you like a full overview because you'll see it later in the video. But yeah, so let's just get on with the video. Actually, we're not going to go anyway. Okay, this time we're just gonna just gonna go. some paper I just prefer to use watercolor paper because it's a little bit thicker and just a little easier to use you can use whatever color paints you like I am gonna be using gray pink gold white black and blue but I might just use select colors from all of these you're gonna need some water I just attached um, a water gun hose to mine and it works out perfectly and I didn't put the pressure up all the way for the water. Here's what happens if it's really windy and you don't use tape on your paper. Whoa. Okay. When I just got paint like all over my leg. <laughs> and on my other like it's it's on the inside of my pant first you want to grab your paper well you can't see it okay and your tape please do not cut your tape the way I just did because that was so dangerous <laughs> my water my paintbrush and I'm ready to go so as you can see the water right here I'm just gonna keep wetting the paintbrush each time I want to do a stroke I'm gonna choose my colors I really want it to be pretty summery and cute so I'm gonna add some pink baby blue and gold so for this project, water is going to be your main key, so you should use water kind of as a second paint. So just kind of use the water really freely and I promise it will help you even out your strokes with the paint. As you can see here, I added some extra paint just to get the colors a little bit more opaque, but I suggest you shouldn't add as much paint as I did because it's going to get really diluted by the water. So here I decided to add some white paint in the center of my photo and then some black paint right in the middle of the white paint that I added. But this I wanted to add like a center type piece I guess or design I should say. I'm just kind of freehanding it and letting the water kind of take the paint wherever the water wants to go. But if you're working on a slant or a hill then the water will drag the paint to the direction it's leaning. guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know if you like um, like the one DIY per video or if you want like several DIYs per video let's talk about upcoming videos August is probably going to be my busiest summer month because 
because there's a lot going on in August for me. I'm also not going to promise that I'm going to be able to upload once a week, and I feel like I have not even done that once on my channel. Yeah, I can't even think of a time where I've uploaded, um, like, a video back-to-back, -back, like, a week, and then the next week, and then the next week, so... Yeah, it's probably going to be easier for me to upload every other week, and that's probably just going to be for August. So thank um, you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!